Hey everyone, it's the Trojan, and I'm going to be going over some uh, footage of me getting into some helicopter fights. Uh, I'm going to use this as a way to kind of explain what I'm doing in these in these uh, engagements, and hopefully help some of you out when it comes to uh, helicopter fights. Uh, so to start things out, in pretty much all these clips, I'll be using mini guns, gyro stabilizer, um, guided missiles, and ECM. Uh, I'm using mouse and keyboard because I'm on PC. My sensitivity is up fairly high so that I'm able to kind of move around quickly and aim quickly. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the first clip. So in this first clip I'm playing on Sunken Dragon in the Z11. Uh, I'm going up against another little bird who has a very big advantage over me due to uh, the little bird just is way better on this map. Uh, so right now I'm just kind of playing chicken with him. I'm, I'm really not sure if he's got uh, engineers that are locking me or if he's running heat seekers. Uh, but right now I'm just trying to close the gap so I can get close to him with, with uh, my mini guns. So it's very clear he's running heat seekers and he's got an engineer or two repairing him. Uh, right here I anticipate he's about to reacquire a lock because my ECM is just worn off. So I immediately start diving. He acquires the lock again. Um, I'm able to lose it right here and I anticipate that he's going to come down after me so I immediately reaccelerate and come up on the right side of him and finish him off. In this clip, I'm going up against the classic heli killing combo. Um, usually, pilots will run heat seekers and mini guns just so that they can kill air targets. Uh, so, what I'm doing here is as he starts firing, I move left or right. This causes him to miss some of his shots and gives me more of a chance to win this fight. Uh, I've posted this clip before. Uh, this is a very close helicopter fight I get into. Uh, I've been distracted with this jet. This little bird has the drop on me. Uh, he comes down after me. I pull back so that we're on the same level. Um, I'm missing some of my shots. I realize I haven't done enough damage and that his reload is going to finish quicker than mine, so I would have lost if I had stayed there. I pull away to a point where we're both reloaded so that I have more of a chance, and then I finish him off barely. So in this clip, I realize the enemy Z11 is down, but I'm getting locked by an air target, so it's either a jet or a viper. Uh, I assume it's a viper. He fires uh, at least one or two missiles that hit the building, so I'm in the clear there. Uh, I'm able to still have my countermeasures and block the second round, or his second volley. Uh, and then right here, his gunner's kind of missing, he's only hit a few shots. I'm moving left or right to dodge, and he's never really able to connect with his rockets uh, because I'm anticipating when he fires, and then I move to dodge them. So in this clip, we're back on Goldmund Railway. Uh, the other team is very pissed off at me at this point, so I've got a lot of enemies on the ground that are trying to kill me. Um, I'm going up against kind of one little bird at this point, which isn't that big of a deal. Uh, but then I notice that there's a second one here, and I'm really not able to kill this guy quick enough. I'm also getting hit from people on the ground, so if I stay up longer, I'm going to die. And I'm also very low on health. So I go into this building so that I'm not getting hit by other things, and I finish him off. Uh, and then I just kind of move around the building to evade everybody else. So in this clip, I've got the clear advantage over the Z11, uh, but even so, I start to uh, rotate around him so that he can never really get a clear shot on me, and uh, he has to continually turn to aim at me, and then I'm able to pretty easily kill him without taking too much damage. So in this clip, I thought it'd be kind of funny to uh, kind of play dead with this other helicopter, and so all I do is that once he spots me from his spawn, I go behind this building, and I play dead or I just sit there because uh, I know that he can see where I am on the map and then once I hear him overhead uh, he's following way too close so I'm able to get up above him and uh, I just basically faked him out here and then I I kind of anticipate that a lot of heli pilots do the same thing which is that they uh, overcommit to engagements and uh, they follow way too close so here I am on Silk Road running the classic Heat Seeker 25 combo uh, the little bird has an altitude advantage on me, so I spin past him and uh, get on the same level. He, of course, flies past me, as a lot of heli pilots do, and then I'm able to finish him off. So another important thing to learn to do is to use objects to your advantage in helicopter fights. So in this situation, um, I'm getting hit by something. I can't really locate it. Uh, but then I realize there's a Z11 behind me because I'm getting hit from behind and I hear him. So what I do is I go over this location and then I use the pipes 
on the ground to then um, create distance between me and the other heli who was following way too close. I'm now at the altitude advantage and I have a clear shot and a sight picture so I'm able to kill him pretty easily. So in this clip I used the building again to uh, close the altitude gap that the enemy heli pilot has over me. Uh, right here I've realized that there's a helicopter above the building so I use this the uh, post here to kind of get a little tricky and pull back to the point where I'm basically on the same level as he is when he engages. Um, I'm a little bit low on health but I'm still able to win this fight simply because I'm able to get on the same level as him so that we can have a fair engagement. Uh, this last clip I use the uh, lock-on from the other helicopter to locate where he is so I can quickly engage and uh, I'm accurate enough here that he really doesn't have much of a chance. Uh, but uh, locating the other helicopter based on his lock-on is a very effective way to quickly figure out where he is. Uh, in this clip, the other helicopter has a massive altitude advantage over me. Uh, I know that he's going down towards the building, so if I pass through it and roll up behind him, I will be on the same level. And again, a lot of heli pilots will over um, commit to a fight, and you can use that to your advantage when you are trying to uh, reduce the altitude advantage. In this last clip, I'm busy engaging this uh, enemy helicopter when I realize the Z11 has the drop on me. I've already used my ECM so I can't engage him straight up because I will lose uh, based on the lock-ons. And right here I use the, the bridge to make the other helicopter think I'm going to go all the way through. Uh, he overcommits as usual and has to turn around to engage me, but by this point I'm already behind him firing on him and he does not have a chance. 